Hi, my name is Jerry Boschman. I'm a longtime friend of Gary and Michelle Amaral. I'm also the new administrator for Tentmaker Ministries and websites. If you've not yet heard the news, I'm sorry to inform you that both Michelle and Gary went on to be with the Lord last year, 2018. This is part two of three in my tributes video series about Gary and Michelle Emra. In part one, I spoke mostly about Gary. Part two is about Michelle. Naturally, I didn't know Michelle as well as I knew Gary, since I spent most of my time talking with Gary and hanging out with him when, when visiting in Herman, Missouri, and our conferences. I can say this much, however. Michelle was very active and involved in the tent maker ministry. She was the accountant, office manager, which included packaging and mailing books and other materials, answering phone calls, etc. She wore many hats and sacrificed much alongside her husband in bringing truly good news of great joy to a hurting world. On the personal side, Michelle was a very loving and caring person to everyone. How many wives would welcome a street person or substance abuser whom their husband would bring home with them to stay with them for a while? I remember in particular how concerned and encouraging Michelle was to me personally regarding some verbal abuse I got in emails from writing my first book, Hope Beyond Hell. She knew what that was like as Gary's wife. Her warm heart shined through as she encouraged me and prayed for me at one of the ultimate reconciliation conferences we attended. Michelle was always, she was always so encouraging and upbeat and loved to worship and praise God. What especially marked Denise and I about Michelle was how she coped with her condition after she was diagnosed with ataxia, which in several years would take her life. And we visited them each year in June for around five days. And in our visit in 2016, Michelle shared with us how she believed God told her she would, be she would not be supernaturally healed from this condition. She accepted this with a deep conviction that her loving father knew what was best and that her life would glorify and honor him to her last day and breath. And that she did. In the last two years of her life, her condition worsened rapidly. Not only did we see that for ourselves when visiting them, but I saw it through Gary's own eyes in my many phone conversations with him. He was candid with me about his life with Michelle. Michelle was an upbeat person with a genuine joy through all the circumstances of life. Her smile was uplifting and truly compelling, especially the day she explained to us how she was looking forward to soon passing through the veil to see her Heavenly Father and precious Lord Jesus face to face. Gary told me many times that he didn't know how he would cope in caring for Michelle 24 seven if she had not been so consistently joyful, thankful and gracious. He truly looked up to, respected and admired her in her joyous and exuberant faith. We all did. Having witnessed all this for myself has greatly inspired and edified me in my faith. I thank God for the joy and privilege of having known Michelle and Gary. In closing, if you've been blessed by the Amaral's over the years, or just recently, we invite you to leave your tribute on the Tentmaker website uh, tribute page. It would be very welcomed. And finally, we hope you visit Tentmaker and discover the treasures it contains about God's unfailing, unending love for all people. And subscribe to this channel to keep abreast of our upcoming videos. God loves you with an everlasting love.